Hello wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I'm really excited to do today's video. I have spent the day with my sister at the Harry Potter Studio Tours in London, Watford and we love it there, we've been three times now and each time we've gone for a thing, we went for a thing, we've been to the animals, we've seen the Goblet of Fire, the Tribe of the Tournament one and this time was the Dark Arts because it's October which means it's Halloween soon. Um, I was really excited and also they had the Green Grot green grots, green gots, I want to keep saying grots, I've had this all day today, the green gots bank and oh my god it was amazing, I was like wow, I was so impressed, but anyway, um, last time round I went to Harry Potter Studios tours, I spent, I used my card and I spent way too much and I mean way too much, I was like broke for like months after that, so this time round I've been saving and I took cash and once that was that, once my cash had run out I couldn't spend it and actually I'm impressed with myself because I actually came home with money left and the, the cash was for petrol, items to buy at the store and I always hit myself and food. So I am very impressed with myself that I managed to come home with money. But I still have quite a good sized bag of stuff that I brought. Um, so let's just get into it. I didn't buy a wand, that's one thing. I really wanted to get a wand and I was like, no, it's, it's a lot of money, it's 30 odd quid, I need to behave myself, I can't get it. And I behaved myself and I didn't get a wand. So I am disappointed that I didn't get one, but at the same time I'm really happy with myself for not getting one. Also, if you hear ringing, like dingling, I have my Harry Potter charm bracelet on and it dingles a lot. So that's just what you might be hearing. So first thing I want to show you actually is that we did this last time round is the Harry Potter passport. So it's just a little passport and what you do is got different pages and eat around certain areas so you, you get stamps. So you've got Gryffindor common rooms or Gryffindor bedrooms, Quidditch, um, the Death Eaters, Hogwarts Express, the Bank, Gringotts Bank, and I think Diagon Alley and Hogwarts Castle. And what you do is you get an embossed stamp. And I have saved the stamps are really cool, and I have a feeling that they might be different. Let's just try and find one actually would. So there's a nine and three quarters one. Hopefully you guys can see it. So my lighting is terrible in my living room. It's night time at the moment, and I want to like eco sense friendly light bulbs so the lighting's terrible and that's the bank one they are really good hopefully hopefully you guys can see it but i love them and i don't know it's something nice to see and last time when we got it it was mainly just like kids doing this however this time round so many adults had one of these i was i felt a lot better about doing it however not many people dressed up still i think me and my sister were only two people dressed up adult wise but still it was fun, it was worth it. We full on went out for it. So what else did I get? I then got, I had a postcard, because I love Dobby, so I just got, this was a pound. It is a postcard of Dobby and the Chamber of Secrets, and on the top it says, Dobby has come to warn you, sir. I love Dobby, I'm a huge Dobby fan, and I just felt weird not purchasing something Dobby related. And then I saw this postcard just as we were about to check out. So I grabbed it, please say my camera is showing you guys and it's not glaring, I apologize if it's glaring. If it's glaring, I'll like insert it or something. Um, and then let's go, let's just dive in, I guess. So we've got the program. Now this is the, oh, I must have had two photos, oopsie. So this is the program. It's again, every time I've gone, I've got a new program. This is like 9 95 I'm trying to work out if I put the receipt in it and then I can tell you the prices, but I don't think I did. I don't think I, yes, I did put the receipt in it. I'm going down into the tunnel. I think it was like 9 95 or something for the programme. <laughs> Souvenir guide, yeah, 9 95 And you can get a hardback version as well. So, every time we go we get one because it's always something slightly different. And this is completely different to our last one. So it's got the new bank on the front which looks awesome. It says new edition on the top. And then it's just, it tells you like the inf little bits of information about Harry Potter. Like where it's filmed, how it's made, and just like some facts about the area. And honestly, like I said, the quality of this is really good. And it's really nice quality as well. And yeah, I just thought I'd better get another one because they've added stuff to it and it's cool to see the new stuff each time. So last time they'd add, we went, they'd added the train and the bit of forest. This time we've got all about the like the bank and everything. So I was happy. It smells like a new program book as well which is nice. So that was that. The next thing we got, the next thing I got, I don't say I'm, no one saying we because don't you guys were mean me, it was me I got it. I got, let's do this. 
So this cost me six pound. It's just it's a picture of a quibbler. So it's just got some information and it has got glasses in here which you can take out and wear and makes things a bit funny. Um, the reason I got this is because I've got nothing to do with Luna or the Cribbler and my sister's got this already before and I just thought it would be nice for my like Harry Potter display just to have something there that's like Luna related because you know Luna's awesome but I don't know, Luna's cool and it looked nice and £6 I was going to like yeah I'm going to get it so there you go I do want some actual real versions of the glasses though in the future if I can so let's put her at the back if she's going to, I don't want to bend it but no me I'm going to bend it uh, this thing, I got a book which I was really impressed with. I think this was £10 again. Was it £10? Mm, do, do, honeydews. Yeah, 9 dollars So, it is, I wanted something honey juice, and I kept thinking, do I want to get the food? Do I want to get the sweets? But the sweets were like £10, £15, and they weren't like, the boxes weren't that nice, like display wise, if you want to keep them. And then I saw this, and it's a Harry Potter honey juice, a scratch and sniff adventure. So it's just all the different sweets, and then like there's pages where you stretch them and they smell weird. So you've got, here you go, um, you've got the Fizzing Whizbies there, and somewhere around here, I think it's there, there's a scratchy bit, and you rub it, and it smells like something. I can't work out what it smells like. I'm not sure what that one smells like. Some of them are really strong smelling, like, um, which one was it we tried? I just like the quality of the pictures, though. like, the pictures are really nice. There you go, like, this one's vomit, I think. So if we scratch the jelly bean. Yeah, that smells like the vomit sweet. So, but just like the picture itself, it's an unusual book. I've never really seen a book like this, which is scratch and sniff ones, and... Ooh, that smells apple -y. The black pepper one's a strong one. I don't know, I just thought it was a fun little display book, a cute little way to keep honey jukes and for like £10, I was like, that's not too bad. I do like it though, it's, it's unusual, it's different, it's Harry Potter, what else is there to say? It's cute as well, I like it. So there you go. The next one thing I got was uh, some sweets. I, like I said, I wanted some sweets, I want, originally wanted honey juke ones, and then I decided this has got a cooler package so I can display some more. So these are the Fizzing Whizbees. They're made with chocolatey fizzy fruits. Um, everybody's favourite delicious snack made, and it was £8. Um, so these are milk chocolate with pop and candy in. Shall I open one now? Shall we open it and try it? Shall we open it? Shall we open it? Shall we open it? If I just like take them out. See, I'm gonna like display it just like that. Nice display thing, but let's try one. I won't eat it all now, but let's just try it and see. Oh, it smells nice, what it is like. Heaven. Oh, they are nice. So they are in the shapes of little bees, minus the fact that I'm just eating its wing. And they've got little bits of popcorn candy in, and it's just much chocolate, it's lovely. Mm. I have it. Now I've got my mouth full. Okay. The next thing I got was the Tri Wizard Cup. This was $13.95 and I know it's plasticky, but it looks really cool. And like I said, we went when it was like the Tri Wizard, the Goblet of Fire like themed one, and we didn't really get anything to remember. And we saw it then. My sister ended up getting this as well. We both saw it and we were very like keen towards getting it because of the fact that it like, was like how the theme that we went last time round and it looks really cool like with the detail and it has got some nice detail and also it lights up. My cat's doing stuff. Wiggles, what are you doing? Jesus, what is she doing? So yeah, it looks really cool and I don't know, it was just like a nice little memory thing I guess of like reminding us of when it was there and I just like it. I think it'll be a lovely display piece, especially with it glowing. Like, yes, it's a little bit childish, but yes, it's awesome. I love it, and I wanted it for a while, so I got it. Okay, the next things I got in here, we're nearly done. Oh, I can go down, there's some little things. So, as you can tell by me dingling, I have got a charm bracelet. I've got another charm for my bracelet. This is the nine and three quarters one, which I don't have. I really, really wanted to get something to the bank, but they didn't have many charms this time around, which I was very disappointed with. 
Last time around I feel like they had loads, but this time around they did have many. But this is just 93 quarters and it cost me five pounds. It's just a little like silver, like slidey on chain. And just says 93 quarters on it. Nice simple chain. And to be fair, that isn't expensive. All these other ones cost me five pounds anyway. Like most of these I got from of got from the um studio, but some of them I have ordered online and the ones I ordered online were either like five pounds or even dearer, so you know. The next things I got were some pin badges. I just dropped one because I am a huge, huge fan of my pins. The first one, oh no, hasn't got its backs. And these are, oh no, half of them have lost their backs. It's a good job that I um, don't display mine as pin badges. That's a bit annoying. I should have checked that. That's so weird. I could have sworn they had their pins. Where the hell are the pin badges gone? They might be in my bag. And that one's Ben. Oh man. This is why you should pay attention to what you're buying and not just grab it. So I got, oh that is really bent. I'm gonna have to get some pliers or something for that. I'm so disappointed at that. I would have thought the staff would have checked it when I scanned it really. To notice that that was bent and broken. But I've got the Order of Phoenix pin bag. It just cost me 6 95 I just thought it looked really, really nice. Really pretty. Um, I am displaying mine pins instead of like putting them onto a bag or anything. I display them. But this one is so, not only is it lost as bent back, but that is so bent. I am hoping I will be able to get some pliers to rebend that. But I'm really disappointed with that. Partly it's my fault. I should have paid attention and noticed that it was bent. But at the same time, they should have had their stuff looked after. Who the hell would have like stolen a back on a badge? And why didn't the staff? They, the staff had to look at that to scan. Like, how did they not notice it? Especially since that's quite sharp. So I'm going to put that aside. The next one I've got is also missing its pins, which is annoying. It's, this one cost me £10. So again, for the fact that this cost me £10, I haven't got its backs, so I'm quite annoyed, but the backs are straight this one. So it's just the key for the vault, and it's the, green, the Bank of Gringotts key. I, and it's got like a little dangly bit, which I love. I absolutely, I can't reach any further without falling off the thingy. Show you guys. There you go. It's nice and cute, and I absolutely love it. I love pin badges. And then the last ones, I was very like, do I get it, do I not get it, do I get it, do I not get it? And I decided to get it, this cost me £15, which I never thought I'd pay for pin badges, but you do get four. And they are of the four dragons that are here that are in the Tribals of Tournament. So you've got the Swedish Short Snout, the Hungarian Horn Tail, the Common Welsh Green and the Chinese Fireball. And I don't know, the quality of these badges just looked amazing and I was like, you know what, I collect badges, I love them. For £15 I'm getting. I really hope my camera's picking this up. If not, I would have to insert photos for you guys. But I don't know, I really look at love it. I think it's cute. There were so many, they had so many really cool ones. I had like one of them, Miss Umbush, like cats. There was like a ribbon one with all the like cat plates hanging off it and it looked really cute. They had some really nice back pin badges and I honestly could have bought loads more. So then I also of course ended up getting it sounds like yeah, ended up getting a butter beer. I got the butter beer and a souvenir cup because these cost me six. It cost me six ninety five for the souvenir cup and the butter beer. I love, and I mean it. I love butter beer, but I love the cups as well. I've got one of these already, and I've also got the ice cream sundae dish. But I end up getting another cup because it's a good way to display your wands. I've discovered. Like if you leave your wands like sticking out, and it's a nice like way to display them, especially when you've got much space. So I just got another plastic butter beer mug. And then but to end this video off, because my sister's constantly trying to get hold of me because she wants to know what happened to these. She's given me her version as well. We went on the train station where you got to like, up, up at the train you got to like, there was a photo part where you can sit and like, inside the carriage and you get your photo and it was like a photo of you at the Hogwarts is fresh, a photo of you looking at scenery and then there was another one of you being scared by a death eater, not a death eater. Yep, there was one of you being scared and then you had to like do a video into like the green screen thing and have like, different reactions like ah trying to get chocolate frog and all that kind of stuff and we didn't get the video but we did get photos so I'm just going to show you guys the photo version we both got the same one because it's funny and we like to again if the camera doesn't want to pick up on my light is too dark I will insert a picture of it instead to make it easier for you but this was £10 because it's £20 for two photos which isn't too bad I think we've spent more before and also in the little photo booklet it does have some information as well so you know it's not like really expensive it's kind of like what you'd expect at this sort of place I think because they're after their money everything you know. but that's my haul 
that's everything I've got. If you are going to, going to the studios, I recommend checking the store out and, and give yourself a price limit. Like, you can only spend a certain amount of money. Don't go it. You'll end up spending loads if you don't. Like I said, I was good and I actually managed to come out with money, but I think that's the best thing I've ever done is be like, right, I'm taking this much cash, that's all I can spend. Because otherwise, I would have brought so much. There were so many things I was like, oh, I want to have it, but I can't afford it, so I put it back. But if I knew that I could have kept, I could have just kept using my card, I would have brought so much more. So, yeah, just be careful with money when you go in there, because you can buy a lot, because we... Me and my sister wanted loads more than what we actually got. But there you go, I think that is everything I have to share with you. I hope you liked my haul, I hope you liked this video. Like I said, if you are heading towards London or want a day out and you're in the UK or near London, go to Watford for the London Studios because Harry Potter is amazing and the tour is absolutely brilliant and I love it and I can't wait till I go again. So yeah, thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I put videos twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and that's absolutely everything. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time day is. I hope you've been smiling because that's the most important thing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!